Hi, Hi guys. guys! Good morning. Today is day 14 yes. of the prayer series. And, and today we will be praying for rest. Yes. Dahil it gets tiring. Parang everyday, pag paulit-ulit yung naririg natin sa news, paulit-ulit yung nakikita or nababasa natin sa social media, nakakapagod. Yeah. Nakakapagod ng hope, nakakapagod umasa, nakakapagod nakakapagod in general lahat ng nakikita natin. So, we're going to pray for rest. Yeah, and it says also sa Google, <laughs> yung sa dictionary, yung rest, ang verb meaning niya ay relax, refresh oneself, or recover strength. I think all of us, um, we need those things. Mm-mm. Even, especially the frontliners, they need to relax, ref- uh, refresh oneself, and reco- recover strength. And what we f- feel is that hindi lang tulog or higa sa kama na even this thing would continue na makakapag-relax tayo, makakapag-refresh tayo, and makakapag-recover tayo ng strength with God, with the Word of God. That's why it says in Matthew, Matthew 11, verse 28. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. We will pray for that. that um, hindi yung kama or tulog yung makakapag-refresh lang sa atin, but the Spirit of God. Mm-hmm. That he would carry everything that we're carrying, all our worries and anxiety. Let's pray. Lord, thank you, Father, that um, you are there, God. That even you said, come to me who are um, weary and carrying burdens. Lord, thank you because when we go to you, Father, you would give us rest. Mm-hmm. You would give our spirit rest, Lord. Lord, the worry, anxiety, and everything, lahat ng mga naiisip namin, sobrang gula na, araw-araw nagbabago-bago, araw-araw nagbabago yung situation, sometimes lumalala. But Lord, we pray, Father, that our spirit won't rely on the situation that we're facing, but it would rely on you, Lord. And we know that if it relies on you, you would give us rest. You would refresh us. You would give us the supernatural strength, Lord. You would even give us joy and peace. Thank you, Lord. We declare that, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because rest comes from you. Thank you, Lord, because we can rest in your presence. We can rest in your name, God. Thank you, Lord, because... Right now, we're declaring, God, that you will remove all the weariness in our hearts, yes. all the anxiety, the sadness, the stress, the negativity. Thank you, Lord, because you will remove those things, Lord, yes. and you will replace it with rest, with peace, with joy, with mm-hmm. faith, with hope, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord, for you are always there with us. You are always here with us to comfort us, yes, to give God. us rest, to keep us healthy, to strengthen us, God. And I just pray, Lord, that we will fix our eyes on Mm -hmm. you lord and we would always remember that we can find rest in you lord not not maybe hindi sa paligid namin kami makakapag rest because of the situation or the things that are happening but thank you god because our rest will come from you yes god and we could be happy we could be joyful we could be peaceful lord in this situation because you are there for us and you're gonna protect us god you're gonna give us strength lord Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So again, we encourage you to pray. I know we've been encouraging you every day to pray with your family, friends, um, parents. But right now, we encourage you also to send that verse. If you have a relative and a frontliner, send it. Sabihin niyo sa kanila, go to God, seek God, or pray so that God would refresh you. Or even send it sa mga family members niyo yung verse na yun, so that they would be encouraged also. Mm-hmm. Or you can also pray for them, send them kahit short prayer yeah. lang, isend nyo sa mga friends nyo na frontliners or kung sino man. Yeah. Gusto nyo i-refresh. Yeah. Point them to God lang talaga. 